What's up guys? Welcome back to another TPX Reviews. Today's review is the next Mountain Dew Amp Game Fuel Zero New Charged Watermelon Shock. Yeah, I think that's everything. I think I said new twice, but it's cool. There's a lot to read. <coughs> Nonsense. This one, a little bit more excited about. I don't know why. Raspberry Lemonade also was very excited about it, but now that I've had that one, now it makes me even more excited to try this one because watermelon is just a little bit more, I don't know, I feel like this one might be the better of the two, but that's just my prediction. I don't know crap. So let's jump straight into it. But yeah, pretty much, I don't know why. I feel like my prediction is it's not, I don't want anybody thinking, oh, well, you're predicting it, so you're going to tell yourself, like, a placebo effect or some shit. No, it's just the fact that I think watermelon, now that I've had raspberry lemonade and tried what they did in the flavor that it kind of had, maybe watermelon will taste better with that type of recipe. So let's jump into it. All right, so here we go. You got the word new right on the can, like last time. Yeah, you charged watermelon shock. You get the game fuel. You get the zero. You get the zero down here at the bottom, but only this time it has nothing to do with it just says zero, zero calories. This is a nutritional thing, not a factual or marketing thing. You got your charged watermelon shock down over here. You got your uh, watermelon flavored zero, zero calorie energy drink with other natural flavors down at the bottom. You have a crazy top and a tab that drives me crazy, but I think I'm getting good at it. You got your alertness and your accuracy on a can. You got your tutorial on how to open the can and the fact that it basically, you know, kind of insults itself in a way without it trying to. You got your website if you feel like going to gamefield.com, although I don't think you'll find anything actually useful on that website or very, you know, fun, so don't do it. You got your barcode that nobody cares about. You got your, uh, facts of what to do with cans in respective states and you've received a 10% refund on the can in, you know, in these various states. You got your warning label not to drink if you're pregnant and stuff. Um, yeah, very important stuff. Totally cool. Very, you know, don't be sensitive to caffeine and shit, you know. Oh, there's this thing I was talking about uh, yesterday in the high roller ball. They make all the cans pretty much. So, you know, you got that too. You got your nutrition facts, which basically nobody cares about, but yet I go over them anyways. So it's kind of scan over through the can. And uh, yeah, totally cool, man. All right, you got your calcium, you got your iron, you got your potassium, but it does say it's not a significant source of any of these. I so don't don't actually read or don't actually look at anything I just said. Uh, you get your camera that can't focus on the section because it's just silly. Uh, it looks like this one actually might be kind of coming in a little bit better because of the fact that it is green and not as dark. There you go. The yellow number six in here. I still don't know with phenolic neurotronics, neuronic, neuronic, neur, neur, don't screw that word. Um, I don't know what that is, but it sounds kind of you know, frisky and shit. All right, so you got this, um, which is still a very short amount of time to drink it in. Don't really understand that. Okay. Well, I think that's pretty much covers the can. Crack the, su the sucker open. Yeah, I feel like these cans are easier to open. I think they fixed their shit. All right, gonna smell it. All right, now just yeah, just one little whiff of that. Yeah, that definitely smells kind of inviting. I kind of like it. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't smell drastically different from raspberry lemonade, but. I don't know. It just kind of... It just smells a little sweeter. Could just be me. It does it just smells a lot sweeter. It smells like a more enjoyable drink. But, you know. Fuck it. What do I know? Pour it out. See what kind of color we get. It does say that it had yellow in it. I can tell this can opened kind of weird. I tried to slide it back as much as I could. And it just kind of didn't want to cooperate. I think the actual mechanism on this one is just 
crap, so it's gonna pour out like a really boring, suggestive type of nonsense. All right, so there you go. Something like right there. Cool, let's do that. So yeah, it's got a really pretty, uh, you know, alternative watermelon color. You got your green, usually, but now this one is focusing on the red of the watermelon. So, you know, it goes both ways. But it's it's true, most of the time, watermelon drinks are the pinky red that's inside them, not the green on the outside. It's almost like if they did that, it would be um, almost like a corporate BS move. But anyways, so there you go. You got your got your thumbnail right there. So uh, you know, take that in. I know it's breathtaking. So yeah, let's take a good look at the uh, the pink that we have here. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it's very nice. Pinky, pinky red. Very pretty. It's like a juice, like a ju like a jewel, some shit like that. Let's take a sip. I'm excited. This one's a little more up my alley. You know, I shouldn't be surprised. Is it the same as the raspberry lemonade? Yeah. But do I like it more? I do. Something about it. It's just because it's watermelon. Um, it's a little less... I don't know what. Maybe a little harder to screw up. Because it's one flavor. And... Um, watermelon as a whole is a pretty like tasty delicious flavor as a fruit it's kind of like it, it's either always like it's like really sweet or really sour and it has to be one or the other it's the nature of what a watermelon is so just by the fact that it is what it is or who it is it's just naturally just kind of delicious It is light. It is not the most overpoweringly sweet or sour watermelon I've ever had. It's barely either. It's... It's good, though. Like, I definitely like it more. Um, it's got a little more of a flavor to it. Packs a little bit more of a punch, and it's a little bit more... Um, yeah, it's just got more of a zing, a little bit of a... a little something you could taste a little more texture, it just, it kind of, there's more to it. Um, I would say that in terms of how close to watermelon it tastes like, it actually does it pretty well because it being a zero is actually what makes it taste more like a watermelon, like a real watermelon, like the actual fruit rather than all the artificial flavored versions out there like when you go and you see your watermelon energy drink they're artificially flavored and they're very they're full of sugar so they're super super sweet this guy being a zero it kind of actually tastes more like you actually took a watermelon and extracted its juices or ran some water through it and let it just you know I'm not going to say it tastes like you go to an organic section and you buy yourself like watermelon water, which is kind of a funny, but it exists. Um, but it is pretty damn close to the, like what you'd want it to kind of taste like, like you would want your watermelon water to taste like this actually instead, or your watermelon soda to taste more like this. If you were the type of person to be into that 
like you want your if you're not a fan of not like artificial flavors you want some really good holes like you really want those natural flavors that you don't get in you know your typical soda when you see a bottle of watermelon crush for example it just it's just straight up just syrups and sugar and it does taste like watermelon but it's like artificial you know this actually kind of tastes close to what you would want but it's unintentional as to why it does it because it's the fact that it's zero and already like game fuel is a as a recipe as a soda as an energy drink it just kind of already tastes less than your average bottle of soda like crush so because of that without it knowing we're trying to it actually makes itself taste like good like it actually rem like it reminds me of like like anybody who doesn't like artificially flavored crap would like this i'm thinking specifically for my wife by the way i'm, I'm beating around the bush here but really She probably liked this because of the fact that it actually tastes like watermelons and doesn't taste too artificial. Because she don't really like artificial flavor stuff. Like artificial cherry and other type of artificial flavors, they just they're they're fake and she can tell them she hates that. Um so basically this might be good for people who don't like artificial crap. Um I don't know. I can't describe it. I'd say you gotta try it to understand what I'm talking about. Um, but that being said, just go and try it. It's pretty decent. It's good enough that I went on a rant for it. So, there you go. It's a decent watermelon. It's not my favorite watermelon, but it's it's up there. It's not, you know, it's okay. It might be its own, like, subcategory for me. Like a whole different thing. Like drinking it for a whole different reason um, than a... Uh, energy drink or uh for delicious soda this is more if i'm in the mood for something you know organic or refreshing or something i don't know it's its own thing but anyways i'm slapping a nice big old like uh i think 8.5 for professional personal score i'm gonna give it i'm gonna smack it with like a I'm just gonna take my hand and just kind of kind of gently graze it. It's going to slap it. It's going to be like a 9 for me. But it's kind of more of like an 8.5 realistically too. I kind of agree with the pre professional score on this one. I think the, you know, the world will take this a little bit more. Yeah, it's 8.5. Bam. Um, so yeah, I might agree with it. 8.5. Which is, who the heck cares about the stars? Stupid ass for f 1 out of 5 stars. Who uses that? Stupid, what is this, Amazon review? Amazon, whatever, screw. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, coming soon, some more, uh, two more flavors, two two more energy drink reviews. That's all you gotta know. Uh, don't know when I'm gonna get them out, but I'm gonna try it really soon. TPX20 saves you 20% on exclusiveenergy.com. And, you know, one more for the road. You got your watermelon game fuel. You got your can. You get your glass, you get your beverage, you get your light, you get your camera, you get your reviewer, and you got your desk. So, here's to the road ahead. Thanks for watching. This has been TPX Reviews with this. You already know what this is, I already told you. So stop asking me. Peace.